guys, I'm going to Bali tomorrow. Not even tomorrow, actually. It's technically, I'm out of breath, literally, from just jumping. It's actually technically, no, it is technically tomorrow, but we're leaving at 4 a.m. So I'm kind of like seeing it as like we're going tonight, if that makes sense, because I probably won't be sleeping, let's be honest. But I'm so excited! So I thought I'd do a little pack with me because I absolutely love watching these videos. Oh my gosh, I am so hot. It's currently the hottest day of the year, it's Monday. The hottest day in the UK so far. It's meant to be going to 29 degrees and that's in Scotland, so that's crazy. That is madness. It's meant to be 31 tomorrow, but I'm absolutely dying. I cannot even have my window open because I live on a farm. My next door neighbor is, which is totally fine. Like I'm not complaining because that's like what he has to do, you know, but he's like making noise with like his tractors and stuff. So the window's shut and I'm dying. It is roasting. It may seem like I've left it really, really late, but because I've not literally packed anything yet, but I have like got things out and ready, if that makes sense. I just haven't actually put it in my case and like done all like the final like outfits and things. So that'll be fun. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to Bali for a month. You guys know I've gone on about it so much. I just can't believe it's happening. Like I, I don't think it's sinking in. But anyway, let's get to it. I have my cases here ready. I need a fan or something. Acclimatizing. <laughs> I've got my big case. I've actually got matching cases, which I just feel so happy and proud of. It just feels like I've got my life together. The mission is 20 kilograms of luggage for a whole month. Madness. Like I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it and I am a little bit concerned so this will be interesting but we'll see how we go I have actually said to Fraser and he's agreed that I can have like five kilograms of his case because girls just need more things right I think I'm gonna start off with evening outfits first so I've gathered them all together and I think that's everything but I'll probably find bits and pieces as we go along but I thought I'd start with the evening outfits because I feel like I feel like they're gonna take the most room because like day things are light and you know, don't take, a take up much room because bikinis and things. But these are a little bit more roomy. This outfit I've actually worn before. And it is this skirt, which I've had for ages from New Look. Probably don't sell it anymore. So sorry, that's really annoying. I know it's annoying when you have things people can't get. And then this Opoly top thought that would be really nice in the evening have worn it before really really liked it please don't judge my packing by the way i know people have like fancy or like just organized ways of doing it but that's just not me i maybe should have got those like travel boxes should i i kind of just thought would they not take up more weight i'm just going with checking them in we have this opoly top which i've worn like once before really really like it i feel like it's very holiday vibes and I thought that would go really nicely with this Boohoo sarong. I'll wear like it over something. What would I wear this over? Just a bikini? Is that a bit much for like evening? Hmm, I'm not sure. Play it by ear, but maybe I could wear this at like a beach club or something, like evening. But yeah, I thought they went really nicely together. I feel like that's a vibe, especially with a tan. I just imagine everything with a tan when I'm packing for holiday. A lot of this is just things that I've shown in my recent Sheen and Pretty Little Thing haul. So definitely go check that out because I'll just kind of put those in without kind of going through them because I don't want to bore you guys. But we've got this, which I've never worn before. It's from Opoly. I actually got it in the sale. So I'm really happy, like a few years ago now, but just didn't have the chance to wear it. So I'm really happy that I finally have the chance to wear it. Again, with the tan on holiday. It's just a holiday dress, isn't it? Really like that. This dress that I haven't shown you. This is from Sheen. Once I did my Sheen haul, I had to get some more holiday bits because I was just in love with it. So I can't really show you this. You'll see it on my Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram if you want to see all these outfits in action on holiday. It's basically this like long maxi dress with a little cutout like here. Yeah, really, really nice. Like I am obsessed with it. Dresses are just so handy, aren't they? You don't have to like put outfits together, but I do love a skirt and a crop top. But it's, oh, it's just a little bit more complicated, isn't it? The skirt from Pretty Little Thing. Need to take all the tags off. Really nice little ruffly crop bandeau. Just a bandeau, it's not a crop bandeau. But maybe that would go really nicely with that. These things I'm kind of just putting in 
and they're not like full outfits but i can kind of figure it out when i'm there but i think that would look really nice together so i'll put them in together and then we've got lots of things from my hauls that i've already shown you so i'm just gonna pop these in because i know i'm definitely taking them this is a skirt i got in the zara sale a couple of days ago and it's supposed to be 30 pound and it was like 12 or something and i just love it to be honest i think is this a day skirt or an evening skirt that's the issue i'm having kind of with some things i'm not sure if i'd want to wear them in the daytime or in the evening i think i just kind of have to see how i feel when i get there but i know i'm taking it this would look really cool with this actually which i also got in the zara sale like that would look really cool together it's like a corset kind of vibe that would look nice and i feel like i've got so much for the daytime already that i probably wouldn't need it for the daytime so it's actually stressing me out how full my case is looking already from a few evening outfits how gorgeous is this by the way i wasn't sure how like it would be like on you gotta be careful with it but it's gorgeous i'm obsessed got some more evening bits that i have forgotten about of course <laughs> here we go that's the rest of my stuff oh gosh this is gonna be like half of my case that's expected right i could wear this with nah <laughs> even these shorts that would be a vibe wouldn't it okay that's outfit number i don't know i'm not numbering them scared it's gonna break this is another one of those tops that i'm not sure i'd wear in the evening or in the daytime but it's really cute so there's like straps here and then this one goes here <laughs> It's just a really nice top. You could wear it in the daytime or the evening. So definitely taking that with me. These two skirts, which I just always take on holiday with me. They're from Pretty Little Thing. Just staple skirts that kind of go with lots of things. So I think I'm going to take them with me and pair them with these tops. It's like these little white crop tops. I wore this outfit, this one with the pink one in Mexico a few years back. A little crop top that kind of comes together at the front this is another little white do you know what just take it with me it weighs nothing and i can figure out when i get there that could be a vibe couldn't it little pretty little thing crop top i mean it's so light why don't mm. would i wear it maybe just chuck it in it's like the lightest thing ever okay i think that's all my evening stuff i didn't actually count how many i put in so i'm not sure if i've got enough so i've got seven outfits i can just repeat them four times that'll be fine that will be fine yeah i've got enough i'll just repeat because there's nothing wrong with that what we do next should we do bikinis i think bikinis and like cover-ups and that kind of thing i have just been outside got my breakfast been outside a little bit and i am sweating it is so hot this is all of my bikinis and cover-ups and things where are the bottoms over here so we've got this one which i think is super cute look at that color so excited to wear it again with a tan i'm just gonna say that with everything matching bottoms just a really classic triangle bikini love that should we put bikinis on the other side i reckon we should this bikini was in my pretty little thing haul absolutely obsessed with it so that's definitely coming with me two bikinis you will have seen in my hauls as well just a classic white one and this beachy beaded one black one that i showed you guys as well again i already showed you this love it i've got this blue bikini which i've had for a while can't really see it off but it's a 437 bikini they kind of gifted it to me a while ago now a couple of years ago a really good one for tanning because the bottoms are really really cheeky it's not one that i'd really wear around and about but it's a good tanning bikini this one is one i got from primark years ago and i'm obsessed with it so i'm gonna take it because it's just a staple oh my gosh how are bikinis taking up so much room i thought they'd take up like no room an opoly green one love it super bright the bottoms are pretty funky on these two on this one it's like a little stripe do you want to take this one because i really like it this lilac-y one you can wear them with kind of any bottoms and then i guess we're going on to the cover-ups and things which i find personally really exciting you've seen most of them already so i'm just gonna pop them in because they were basically all in my haul this one you haven't seen 
it's basically like a long sarong I guess that you just tie around over your bikini thought it was really cute like if I wanted a long cover up you know yeah I just thought it was really nice it's got like little palm leaves is that a palm leaf this little knitted one that you guys have seen and then I've got this which I really like it's basically just a knitted cover up really but it's just for the top and I thought this could go over a bikini it's long sleeve with like denim shorts I was thinking that could be like a cute day vibe so not so much like just on the beach over your bikini but an actual day outfit where's my black skirt where's my black skirt gone when I tell you I've just spent the last hour <laughs> searching for that black skirt because it's one of those skirts I can't go without. Like, it would be the sort of skirt that I'd wear like every single day over a bikini. So I had to find it, spent about an hour, and we finally found it. It's literally just like a small mini flowy black skirt from Pretty Little Thing. But do you know that thing that you'll just wear all the time on holiday? It was this, so I couldn't go without it. I found it, and I'm now sweating because it's roasting and I just like turn my whole room upside down looking for it <laughs> I'm having to really do this packing thing in stages because it's too hot so I'm having like 20 minutes packing an hour break <laughs> we are getting there so beach trousers going in I found the black skirt that I was speaking about have I lost it again or is it here it's here I'm so glad I found that I was stressing for a little bit thinking that I'd like send it back by accident or something this little cover-up that was in my haul super cute well it's not really a cover-up it could be like just a normal day outfit this little white sarong always comes in handy it's just super cute to throw over a bikini I've got some shorts for the daytime not so much cover up but just like a day outfit honestly i'm not gonna lie i don't really have like set day outfits planned i'm just kind of gonna check in shorts and tops and we'll kind of go with it when we're there not very organized with the day outfits and i'm a little bit stressed that i've not got enough but i'm kind of just thinking i'm gonna mainly wear bikinis and i can just wear the same things we've got some little day dresses so this black one little cute and it's got like it's backless which i think is really nice especially on holiday nice and flowy we love a flowy dress for holiday super easy to chuck on this one which i showed you guys in my haul obsessed with it so pretty i'm getting pretty full guys the case is getting pretty full taking this with me because i love it and i just feel like i'll probably wear it in the daytime sometime maybe Will I? I don't know, but I'm going to take it with me. This cute Adidas dress from ASOS. Really like this. Worn it several times. Another little dress that will come in really handy in the daytime, I think. If we're just kind of walking around or exploring. Got a little butterfly on it. Shorts. Love these. Again, pretty little thing. I feel like I'm quite basic, aren't I? Most of my clothes are from pretty little thing at this point. But love these. In the daytime, I'm sure I'll wear them. Denim shorts, Zara, staple. These are like the, are they called Bermuda shorts? Absolute staple denim shorts. If you've not got them and you want some nice denim shorts, I just think that they come at a perfect length. They're not too short, you know, and they're not too long. They're just a really, really staple. Absolutely love them. Some more little cover up beachy shorts. I just know I'm gonna get so much wear out of them. We've still got shoes. We've got like toiletries gym things i want to take some gym things um to do home workouts or well ho villa workouts whatever it's called maybe go to the gym i'm not really sure for shoes we have oh i need to get my sliders from downstairs actually but we've got these which are super super cute these two are both from sheen little sandals super cute i just think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them can wear these in the day these are more like a nighttime vibe don't really want to take too many heels because realistically i'm not gonna wear a lot of heels because i just want to be comfortable on holiday you know but these will go with everything these clear ones from pretty little thing love them go with everything comfortable like chunky heel so definitely taking them i thought in the daytime if i'm walking around a lot i'd need some 
comfortable. They're not the most attractive sandals ever, but I just feel like they won't rub my feet. And if we're walking around quite a bit in the daytime, it's a bit of a risk because I don't know if I need them. Like, would I just wear my sliders or it's the sort of thing I don't want to go without and then be screwed, you know? So not the most beautiful sandals ever, but they're comfortable. They've got like the supportive back. And I mean, they're not horrible. They're, they're, they're fairly nice. So I'm going to take them. Oh, it's the shoes that are going to weigh me down, isn't it? Do I take these as well? Or do I take these because this would go so nice with that peachy outfit i was showing you and then these would just kind of go with everything but will i wear heels i'm gonna put them there see how much room i've got that's taking way too much isn't it i feel like that's a bit excessive cap you know i thought it was cute how cute is that this was a present from my dad's mum my nanny which i'm just obsessed with it's literally personalised with my name on. Do you think it looks like me? She like personalised it to look like me. And look, wearing a little gym set. <laughs> I think that's so cute. I've not used it yet because I haven't been on holiday. But really excited to take that with me. And then lots of different little day tops. They're kind of boring. The little Zara top little adidas bandeau yeah lots of little day tops that i'll wear with like my denim shorts and my other shorts this is my little like medication bag that i've put together my mum is a nurse so like there's no way she's letting me go somewhere without all the medication especially if i'm going for a month so oh that's a little cleanser thing but it's mainly my medication and some little toiletry things so we have what's this travel calm tablets oh i think this is for when i go sailing actually i don't think i need them for this these are just things my mum's given me by the way which is why i'm a bit confused so we've got this is like a cheap version of like diorolite so like for rehydration like so basically barley belly is like a thing in barley where you can get like a funny tummy from eating the foods there lots of different tablets like she's even given me indigestion <laughs> in case i have that hay fever in case i need that we've got bug cream bug cream bug spray lots of it we have another one this is the avon Ooh. avon skin so soft because apparently that's great for midges so we have a good amount of that and yeah just lots of bug cream and tablets like every tablet you can think of that i might need also got this which is a plug in so i know these are meant to be really good for like mosquitoes and stuff so i'm gonna be taking that i'm literally taking everything that i can to hopefully not get bitten to death here we go there's another one little bands that my mum said i should get don't even think these last very long so hopefully i don't rely on them because i think they only last like a certain amount of days but we've got them so I've sorted through my normal makeup bag and transferred like the stuff I want to take with me into this little, well, it's not little, it's actually quite big, um, but this makeup bag, which is kind of just everything. I mean, I don't know how much I'm going to be wearing makeup on holiday. I don't know why that's in there. That should go on my other one. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to be wearing makeup when I'm there, but I kind of want to take it for, you know, a nice evening or something. Got my moisturiser. Yeah bobbles all my makeup bits and then it's quite good because like my palettes can fit in there as well and then i've also got these little bandos that i want to put in for the daytime so we're getting pretty full guys not sure whether i'm gonna be putting these in phrases probably some of them also don't think i'm gonna be taking all of these at all because i'm not gonna have room gym stuff i need to get some more sports bras and maybe another pair of shorts so i've got these ones from my protein these ones my adidas shorts love them a bow and tee bra and then just like some little white tops i can throw on but i'm gonna get some more because obviously i'll be super sweaty if i do work out and i'll need a change bags to choose from and i'm not sure which ones to take or if i'll have room for all of them i love this one so i think this is a definite because i can just get so much wear out of that it'll go with literally everything on holiday this one's just really cute for holidays i really do want to take that and this one's just super cute i really do like it oh that's the back there we go but it won't go with as much so that's probably the one i'd leave if i had to but i hope i can take wow 
my mum bought me this fan i think it was like a pound oh i think it was like a pound or something she said and i wasn't sure if it was like a bit dramatic i actually don't want to use all the battery do i that would be bad probably need to actually pack some more batteries but this is going to come in handy i can tell already in this heat it's definitely going to come in handy so i'm very glad she got me this thanks mum hello guys you'll probably notice it's a little bit darker now i've got the main light on because it's getting quite dark outside it's actually like half nine ish i think fraser's actually here now we've had a little look at both of our cases and i think we're pretty much there i've popped in some of my shoes that i showed you into fraser's case but yeah i think we're i think we're kind of done to be honest i've packed my case but i think what we're going to do is put some things in hand luggage just in case we didn't have our case for like a few days if something like went wrong you never know fingers crossed but just so that we'd have like something to like wear if we needed to for a few days so i'm gonna pop in some bikinis some shorts um like one or two maybe even just one i'm not sure but just some things in my hand luggage and i've got loads of room in there anyway got my jewelry in there popped my toiletries into this bag so shampoo shower gel conditioner all that stuff sun cream and i like sellotape all of it up i always like to sellotape my toiletries just in case gym wear popped in some more like shorts nice bright colors for summer nice blue and then i've got my trainers which you might think is a bit weird these are my walking trainers we are planning on doing a hike up a mountain so these are like the comfiest shoes and i just don't think any other shoes will cut it to be honest some of my stuff is in this is kind of bits that i'm not taking bucket hat that i cannot decide if it suits me or not i'll show you in a sec other than that we're done i'm so excited it is half nine ish like i mentioned so not long to go leaving at 3 a.m i think i said four but we're actually leaving at three so i'm so excited guys i will catch you on the other side thank you so much for watching and yeah i guess next time i'll see you in bali bali vlogs will be coming so make sure you subscribe make sure you're ready and waiting for some fun bali content i'll definitely be vlogging as much of the trip as i can so yeah very excited thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in bali bye guys